Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I just have to give you some really heartfelt advice. And anyone who knows me is going to say, wow, that's so hypocritical, Saren. But I have to tell you, we have to get rid of our stuff. I don't, I don't care where you are in your cancer journey. We have to get rid of our stuff. And I am a sentimentalist. I come from a family of pack rats. I have to tell you, it just has to be done. We have to purge. I was a young mom going through a divorce, going through cancer treatment. I had sole custody. So that means I had all my daughter's stuff. (laughs) and while I was on cancer treatment other family members passed away and they left me their stuff so I had no energy for purging and sorting and going through all this stuff but if I had just made the time to do a little bit every day and every week and every month I would not be in the position that I am in, which is I am overrun by stuff. Now I have OCD, so there are parts of my life that are very organized and neat, but it just means that I got more storage, right? So if I could give you one piece of advice, it's suck it up and start purging. And you can live for decades and decades, but it just accumulates when you're going through cancer treatment because you feel like the last thing you want to do is dedicate time to going through drawers or boxes or cleaning out your garage or the top shelf of your closets. I am telling you, begging you, do it even though you're on treatment. Now, let people help you. I did a whole episode on delegating. You can delegate that people can help you. I know it's hard to have other people sort your stuff. You want to see everything, or at least I do. But put a little team together and have people help you. I had a girlfriend who was moving out of the country and she had a sorting party. And she literally just dumped boxes and files of things on the floor. We all sat around. And if anything looked important, we gave it to her. But most of the stuff we keep is garbage. And trust me, she looked at everything before it got thrown out. But we made it so much easier because we organized it for her. So I'm just warning all my friends who are listening to this. I'm going to rely on you. and We're going to do this. <laughs> But I wanted to share with you George Carlin's comedy on stuff. If you haven't heard it, it is brilliant. You have to go right online when this is done and you have to type in George Carlin and stuff because you have to see him perform it. You have to. Just some brilliance and comic perspective from George Carlin. I think this is about a five minute routine, at least the video clip that I know. And he goes deep down. And this is what I talk about taking a subject that could be a real problem for you, especially if you're a pack rat and looking at it from all sides. And then you start to shed light on it, get some breath into it, get some laughter into it. And then that's how you build your comic perspective. And that's the resiliency 
that I used and used to get through anything in my life. And that's why I started the Comedy Cures Foundation so that we could bring this kind of comedy to people and then we could help teach how you use your own comic perspective in times of stress or pain. (laughs) So here's a little from George Carlin and I'm going to skip around so you really have to watch the full video. But a house is just a pile of stuff with a cover on it. You can see that when you're taking off in an airplane, you look down and you see everybody's got a little pile of stuff, all the little piles of stuff. And when you leave your house, you got to lock it up. Wouldn't want somebody to come and take some of your stuff. They always take the good stuff. They never bother with the crap you're saving. All they want is the shiny stuff. That's what your house is, a place to keep your stuff while you go out and get more stuff. (laughs) sometimes you got to move. You got to get a bigger house. Why? No room for your stuff anymore. (laughs) Did you ever notice when you go to somebody else's house, you never quite feel 100% at home. You know why? No room for your stuff. Somebody else's stuff is all over the place. Sometimes you leave your house to go on vacation and you got to take some of your stuff with you. Got to take about two big suitcases full of stuff when you go on vacation. You got to take a smaller version of your house. It's the second version of your stuff. And you're going to fly all the way to Honolulu. Going to go across the continent, across half an ocean to Honolulu. You get down to the hotel room in Honolulu and you open your suitcase and you put away all your stuff. (laughs) I'm going to stop there. I just love when a brilliant comedian does a deep dive on a subject matter and you can see how you look at it through all sides. So when I was going through cancer treatment, I looked at my cancer situation from all sides and it didn't seem so scary. And the more I wrote comedy about it and the more I performed that comedy about my cancer journey, the less of a stranglehold it had on me. So I hope that you start purging and I hope that you start taking whatever it is that's on your plate that's bothering you or that's causing you any kind of distraction, you start to look at it the way George Carlin did in that brilliant material on stuff. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. Lots of laughter. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to ComedyCures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair, April 1999. And we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.